IPS, this is where it gets interesting. <laughs> I couldn't find all of my sketchbooks because I chucked out a bunch of them. So the only sketchbook that I have left is my media sketchbook. So you had to rebrand a company that you thought was out of date and so you, a brand that you thought was becoming kind of irrelevant, you had to rebrand and mine was Gap. And this was all the research that I did. You had to redesign the logo. So this is like me trying to redesign the logo. Um, this is the logo <laughs> that I came up with. And it was like supposed to be a gap like that's and you had to um, perform a photo shoot, do a rebrand, and this was kind of the mood, different mood boards that I did that I thought would be useful. This is the photo sheet of all the pictures that I took. So if you look closely, there's like my friends and just all the pictures there. Um, and then this transfer paper was just me commenting on like, I like this picture, I like this picture, I don't like this picture, this is, I need to fix this picture, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna show you far away because my friends will kill me if I put this on the internet. But this was the photos. These were the photos that we took. Um, and we got up, this is how desperate we were, I feel like. We got up at 5 a.m. in the morning to do a photo shoot um, in the tube station. And I did a photo shoot in the tube station and in a McDonald's. <laughs> and then um, we had to do like a social media plan. This was like the stories. These are like all the edits, all the edits that I did in the tube. I did it in a tube because the rebranded logo looked kind of like a tube station sign. And so it was kind of supposed to be an American rebrand into the UK. And in the end, this was like my final, pro I'm not going to show you too much because my friend will absolutely kill me if she, if I showed you. So this is the media, this was the media book. This is kind of what you do at IPF. I'm not sure if they changed the program, but I did enjoy it. I had no intention of going into media. So for me, this was like a fun project that I could do um, just to explore what it was like. This was the term one book. So if you go into IPF, you have a new project every single week. So how IPF kind of works worked before this is all according to what i did so in ipf you have the business rotation the media rotation and the design rotation when you first go in you have a, an initial project you do a runway made out of garbage you have to salvage like cardboard boxes and have a runway i don't know if they still do that but that was interesting and then you get split into groups you do a one week of each topic and then for the second, tr so that for, I'm pretty sure we had trimesters. So for the second trimester, you pick, out of three, you pick two. So you have one project, one project. So design, business, business media, design media. You choose two. One of them obviously is the one that you want to do. You drop one that you definitely don't want to do. And then for the final trimester, you pick the subject that you want to go into, whether it be design, business, or media. And then you look at all the courses that are available in that strand. You work your portfolio towards that um, subject that you want to get into. You have to apply within IPF, obviously. It's not like a standard um, UCAS application. But there's only a certain amount of people that they will let in and accept for specific subjects. So for example, women's wear and men's wear for design is very, very popular. So those are the that's the subject that everyone wants to get into. Not everyone can get in. So you have to be the top of the cohort. If not, you will have to choose another subject or you have to try it next year. So a lot of people I know went into um, like fashion design and development, which is another strand of design, contour, tailoring, 
Um, there's also like footwear, a lot of different subjects. For business, there's like buying and merchandising, which was super popular. Um, there is the MSc, so the Masters in Strategic Fashion Management, which is the one that I'm in. There is the bachelor's equivalent, which is bachelor's in fashion management, where you do slightly different subjects, but you, for the first two years, you're, to, you're together initially, MSc and BSc. But BSc, obviously, they graduate with the bachelor's, master's. Yeah, there's a lot of other subjects as well that you can go into. Oh, this was the business rotation. So I did like, um, I think I did a rebrand for Lush. This is kind of like the report section. I'm not going to show you the photo shoot because my friends will kill me. Yeah, you have to do like a really in-depth SWOT analysis. And that this was for the design rotation, the drawing and illustration rotation. Uh, I did like a mini, mini version, like a pencil version of the one here. And then for the media one, you have to do like a bunch of mood boards. You have to do a photo shoot. It's basically the same thing as what I showed you in the sketchbook but this was for the first so this is all like the week-long projects that we had so we had a week to do this that was just like the photo shoot and this was the final product this was for the media rotation and they give you like a um, subject you just have to do it a cover of a zine to represent what you your take on the subject this was an upcycling project that we had to do for business <coughs> as well and you had to rebrand so that's it this is the first trimester first trimester of um ipf this is what you do that's what you do business design media you do all of them this is the second trimester for business you have to make a business report make your own brand and make a business report and basically you have to do everything so the branding the budgeting, the planning, finance, the website, the photo shoot, your ethos, your mission statement, everything that goes into a business, you have to do. And you have to print it on a book like this. You have to get it professionally printed, which was interesting. So this was my brand, The Clear Company. This company was supposed to be the 100% transparent company. So this was the report this was like the target audience um competitors different models this was swat this was the matrix model branding logo packaging so basically you learn in design and you have to this was all designed from scratch fabric research so i think my products were made out of um recycled billboard material, collaborating with artists. This was the collection. This was all the wallets that will come from the billboard. The outside was a, the billboard. And then the inside was the collaboration with the artist. So this was a painting inside of the wallet. There was a jacket as well that was supposed to be a billboard, color palette, artist inside. Basically, anyways, this was what we did. We designed the website. I actually really like this report. Oh, this was the no one should die for fashion. That transparency and sustainability ethics. This was the advertisement. This was the photo shoot that I had with my friend. So this was like the advertising campaign that I would have done the social media market the launch party i designed the launch party that was fun that was the report for the second trimester when we had two subjects this was my final project that i did to um get into the course that i'm in right now which is the msc this was um a subscription box for women going through their periods so it was a period subscription like a feminine hygiene product subscription box but it had snacks and um, goodies inside according to the person's taste. So personalized to the customer's taste, the box would change. If your favorite snack is like Oreos and you know, things like that. So you can change your box whenever you want. You'll have feminine hygiene products delivered to you every month. I know that there are a lot of subscription products like that now, but this 
or wasn't really a thing five years ago so we thought this was an amazing idea so that's the project that we did that's the photo shoot that we did we worked really hard on this project we shot every single um, photo ourselves we didn't use any stock images this was all our photo shoot our work we even bought different uh, boxes that already existed and tried them out so this is our photo shoot so tea products like chips they're all like healthy zit stickers for breakouts partnered up with these brands that were really good for you yeah so these two actually were really fun projects i partnered up with one of my friends to do this one this one i did by myself we worked really hard on these and although now that i think about it i'm like we did not have to all night at that much and work that hard to get into the course that we are in right now but i think these are really special projects that i now have and who knows maybe if i didn't work that hard i wouldn't have been able to get into this course so yeah that's everything that i did during ipf i hope that this was a little bit helpful <laughs> i feel like i've just been talking at you anyways i feel like i've been talking for way too long but i hope that this was a little bit helpful or just a little bit interesting um insight into what you do when you go into ipf or what i did when i was in ipf but yeah i hope everyone enjoyed and i will see you soon with another video you will be just fine in the summertime and it's such a crime